CataractCoach.com. Faco and Gat, but the capsule breaks. How can you recover from this posterior capsule break? Now, the patient has a cataract, of course. Look how opaque that lens is. Plus, on top of it, the patient has glaucoma, too. So you need to do something to control the IOP, the intraocular pressure. Now, surgeon here will certainly do a cataract surgery. That alone will help lower the intraocular pressure, as you know. But maybe a little bit something else. And so here the surgeon wants to do GATT, G-A-T-D, gonioscopy-assisted transluminal trabeculotomy. Now, let's get back to doing the cataract surgery. So starting off with the capsulorexis, if I have a patient who needs a combined cataract and glaucoma procedure, the one thing I'm cognizant of is I want that eye oil to stay really in that capsule bag. Now, in some surgeries which are more invasive, such as a, a tube, such as an omid valve or a trabeculectomy, you may have post-op hypotony. And in that case, I don't want the eye oil to come out of the capsule bag. So you want to do a little bit smaller of a rexus, maybe four and a half to five millimeters. Not much of an issue with uh, MIG surgeries because you're not going to typically get overfiltration here. So let's see the surgeon doing a cataract surgery now. Let's get to the end of it. Cataract's all cleaned up. Nuka's out of the eye. There's the last little piece. And oh, let's watch carefully. Cortex removal. And as the cortex is cleaned up, I mean, I already told you the answer is going to be. He's going to have a break in the capsule. And sometimes it's just due to patient tissue. Now, the nucleus was removed beautifully. No issue there. Surgeon here now notices a posterior capsule rent, so puts in viscoelastic. And let's look back there. What do we see? Look carefully. Mm, let's zoom in a little bit. Yep, there is a rent in the posterior capsule. It's small. Can you convert this into a little baby posterior rexus? Grab it with forceps. And what can we do here? Grab it. It's not easy. In a time of need with a posterior capsule break like this, sometimes getting a posterior capsule rexus is not as easy as you think. And so the surgeon is trying and not sure if we're going to get any success here. So what do you want to do now? Well, you know what? Let's leave it be. Enlarge the incision. Let's get a lens in. A three-piece lens can be placed in the bag or in the sulcus or opticapture, wherever you want. I wish those drapes were out of the view. Thank you. You read my mind. Appreciate it. I'm watching the video for the first time with you. There comes the lens, three-piece lens being put in the eye appropriately, getting that dialed in. I bet you the whole thing's in the capsule bag. So I do like that result. Take out the viscoelastic slowly, gently. I don't know if I go behind the optic here, to be very frank. And it looks like a Simcoe cannula instead of actually an IA probe. Hey, did I tell you that the Cataract Coach website has so much great material, so much to learn, so much better than YouTube? There's a free PDF book. If you are a resident and I meet you in person, our first, thing, first question is, have you downloaded a free book? If you say no, I'm, I'm going to cry. Now, here comes the GATT, G-A-T-T. That's a proline. Typically, it's a 6 proline, sometimes smaller. And then you can see the end has been slightly cauterized, using a needle here to kind of create an entry point, and then slowly threading that proline suture. There we go. In the trabecular mesh. And this can go around 360. And the surgeon is going to do a great job. And you'll be surprised at how beautifully this kind of flows right through there. And you'll get it to come around a full 360. And then pull both ends out. And then you've created your trabeculotomy. So pulling it through, very nicely done. There it is. Keep advancing, advance, advance, advance. So in this case, even though you had a posterior capsule break, fortunately it was small, there was no vitreous prolapse, anterior hyaluronic face was intact, and even if you couldn't get that posterior rexus done, it doesn't really matter. You put your lens in the bag, that lens itself, the optic acts as a barrier. So let's see what's going on there, a little arrow view there. And it looks like the, the end came around. So can we, yep, there it is. Grab the other end, grab them both, and pull it through. And look at this. One, two, three, pull. And there it's done. Beautiful. Very nice. A little bit of bleeding is okay. Don't worry about that. Take out the viscoelastic here at the end of the case. And the patient, I'm happy to report, had a beautiful outcome. Obviously, the cataract has been fixed. The vision is much improved. And the intraocular pressure, the IOP is well controlled. Now, if only that drape, there you go. Thank you. You read my mind again. If I was going to say, if only that drape wasn't in my view. Beautiful case here. Fantastic job. And just remember it. Even if something happens interop, even if it's not your fault, like in this case, 
Learn to just press on and get the case done right. Hey, check out cataractcoach.com, the website. Again, free PDF book for learning cataract surgery, free curriculum series. Everything's free. Just check it out.